And joining us for this week's Annapolis Faceoff, Senator Nancy Jacobs, a Republican from Harford and Cecil counties, and Delegate Marvin Holmes, a Democrat from Prince George's County. Thanks to both of you for being with us. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Two weeks left in this legislative session, things picking up speed. Senator Jacobs, what's most important on your radar screen for the next couple of weeks? Well, we're going to be dealing with the budget over in the Senate and the BRFA bill, which is the Budget Recon Reconciliation Act. And then now they've come up with an alcohol tax that we also will be dealing with. Uh, the delegate has already had the budget and the BRFA, um, so he, he probably is more aware of you know the floor fight on that issue than I am. Delegate but I, Holmes, I will be. <laughs> what, uh, how are things going in the House from your perspective? Well, things are going very well. Obviously, at this time of year, because the House had the budget first this year, uh, we just finished up yesterday with uh, uh, the budget in the birth for HB 70 and HB 72. And there were some ide ideological differences in what was in the budget. Uh, there were some discussions about budget increases, or some discussions about monies going to schools. Uh, one of the things that came up was the increased amount of funding going to, to schools. Uh, as an example, since 2002, the state has increased funding to K-12 through by 96%. Um, and I think that's great because, as you've he heard in the past, uh, Maryland is number one in terms of school systems, and it's that investment in schools that has kept us at number one for a num number of years. So the governor's budget had had that funding uh, reduced a bit. The House put some money back in. How do you feel about where it is? Well, I hate to be parochial about this, but because Prince George's County, that I represent, received some funding uh, relevant to the increase, I think it's a great thing. Uh, we need the money in Prince George's County, and uh, uh, we are going to be getting some additional funding uh, for K-12 in this budget. Senator, how do you think the Senate's going to deal with this? I think we're going to be offering a lot of amendments. I, I think it has some flaws in it. Um, I think that it's overly fair uh, to Prince George's County, Baltimore City, some of the larger counties. Um, you know, we have difficulty with it. Um, one of the things that we were discussing earlier was the alcohol tax. 80% of this new alcohol tax is going to Montgomery County, I'm sorry, um, Baltimore City, and Prince George's County. And then 20% of it is going to go to uh, people with disabilities. And, you know, people all over the state are going to be paying this alcohol tax. But yet, it's only going to these two jurisdictions. And a lot of people are upset about that. And I think you'll see some amendments on that as well. But we're looking forward to getting the budget next week. Um, I don't think enough has been cut from the budget, and that disturbs me. So you're, you're going to see some amendments on the Senate floor. It's sort of interesting that the Senate appears to be on track to, to um, have a broad-based tax increase, at least on people who have the occasional drink. And the House uh, delegate came through with, with fees instead, but, but really no um, major overall tax increase. Well, but. That, that's whether you consider a fee a tax or not. You, of course, that debate's been around a while. Never heard that one. And no, well, never have. Yeah. Well, in, in the budget that was just passed over to the Senate, there were a couple of uh, fees that were increased. The land titling fee went from $20 to $40. The uh, car titling fee went from um, $50, to $50 to $100, correct. And the uh, vanity license plate fee, uh, I think that went from 50 to 100 as well. So those were some increases. But again, those increases, I think, were necessary because of the financial crisis that we're in. These fees were applicable only to those that use those services. That's why we put those on those particular issues. I think this could create a rush on vanity license plates before the fee goes up. I, I think Everybody it was, I think it was $15, MBA. and they doubled it to $30. I think that's what it is, yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah, yeah. We'll leave it there. Delegate and Senator, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for thank having you. us.